Snap-on's torque training series, Digital Torque Checker, DTC. Hello and welcome to Snap-on's torque training video series. Snap-on understands the critical nature of the job that you do, so please work safely and always read your owner's manual completely before using your torque checker. Always wear safety glasses when using any tool. Today's video covers the proper use of Snap-on's digital torque checker called DTC. The DTC is an easy-to-use digital torque checker that's perfect for periodically checking the accuracy of your click-type torque wrenches and dial-type torque wrenches. It can also be used for training in the proper use of click-type torque wrenches. The DTC is very accurate but should not be used for torque wrench calibration. If the torque wrench is out of tolerance, it should be sent to a qualified calibration lab. Mount the DTC on a sturdy wall such as concrete or on a steel beam. Do not mount on unsupported drywall. For ease of use, mount the checker with the socket approximately waist high to the user. Snap-on also has a bench top mounting bracket available for the DTC part number 3325-0440-01. The DTC has a minimum torque reading of 25 foot-pounds and a maximum reading of 250 foot-pounds or the equivalent in inch-pounds or newton meters. To begin using your DTC, first install the batteries. Use a small number one Phillips screwdriver to remove the battery door and the battery tray will pop out. Install three AA batteries of any type. Reinstall the battery door. Make sure a torque wrench is not mounted to the drive before turning on the DTC. Push the power button to start the DTC. Pressing the enter button allows you to select one of three modes. First peak, displayed on the checker as one peak, is used for checking mechanical click type torque wrenches. Peak mode is used for checking dial type torque wrenches. This mode is also useful for training in the proper use of a click type torque wrench. Track mode may also be used for dial type torque wrenches. Pressing the U button allows you to select the units of torque, foot-pounds, inch-pounds, or newton-meter. The DTC will display the torque reading for 5 seconds and then clear. The last reading can be recalled by pressing the R button. To test click-type torque wrenches, select first peak on the tester. Then select the desired unit of torque. Before you test your wrench, it's best to zero-tear the tester without the wrench inserted and then exercise it at least six times at the maximum setting using the stationary exercise socket at the bottom of the checker. If needed, use the included adapter for 3 8 inch drive torque wrenches. Now set your torque wrench to your desired setting. Engage the wrench square drive completely in the DTC socket. Always apply force at the center of the torque wrench handle. For this demonstration, we'll set the torque wrench to 50 foot-pounds of torque. Apply force at the center of the torque wrench handle. Stop applying force when the wrench clicks. The reading on the tester should be within plus or minus 4% of the setting on the torque wrench. If the reading on the DTC is greater than or equal to plus or minus 4% of the setting on the wrench, then the torque wrench is out of tolerance. To test dial type torque wrenches, select Peak Mode, apply torque until the setting of the wrench is reached, and compare the reading to the value on the tester. Again, the standard accuracy for dial wrenches is plus or minus 4% of the target torque. To use the DTC as a torque trainer for click wrenches, set the DTC to peak mode, set the torque wrench to desired setting, and test. If the wrench is used correctly, the result should be close to the setting on the wrench. If the DTC reading is much higher than the wrench setting, it means the user is applying too much force and therefore more practice is required. By default, the DTC will power down after two minutes of non-use. However, this may be adjusted in the settings menu. To access the settings menu, push and hold the enter button for three seconds. The cycle count shows the number of times the checker has been used. Highlight clear and press enter to reset to zero. The settings menu has show info, sleep time, and LCD contrast. Please refer to the Snap-on catalog or contact your Snap-on representative for more information. Thank you for watching. This has been a presentation of Snap-on.